All right, you're only gonna have one NMR question on the test and it's not like the other NMR questions that you've been doing. It will be this type of question, exactly. I'll have a different big aromatic molecule. It's big, it's got a huge ring and don't even bother counting the number of pi electrons to see if it's aromatic. It's gonna be a big aromatic ring and it'll have the right number of pi electrons, okay? And what, what I didn't talk about in class is because I'm a terrible artist, is the phenomenon caused by magnetic fields on benzene and other aromatic rings. What happens is if you turn an electromagnet on and it has a certain direction, and this is my default direction throughout the whole textbook, the direction of the magnetic field of your machine, which is the electromagnet. And if you put a benzene in there, the electrons in the benzene start rotating around the ring like this, okay? And that causes its own magnetic field like this, okay? I should use my right hand. These are electrons. The electrons start going around, you don't need to know which direction they're going, people. The electrons in the benzene ring, which you know aromaticity makes them go in a circle, right? That's why I'm doing the circle. Well, that causes a magnetic field that is lined up with the electromagnet. Where is it lined up with the electromagnet? Coming out the middle of the benzene, upwards. Okay, so let's just do a quick demonstration. Here is a benzene with its pi electrons and you turned on H naught, this is a big electromagnet. What's gonna happen is it's gonna induce the pi electrons to go around in, in a circle in only one direction, okay? And that causes a magnetic field that looks like a donut. It comes out of the benzene, comes around here, and comes into the benzene down there. So this is called the magnetic field of the pi electrons. How's that? It, unfortunately, the symbol for magnetic field is H. <laughs> it's not a hydrogen atom. It's a magnetic field, H. Magnetic field caused by pi. Magnetic field caused by the source, H naught we call it. Hey, if you're a proton on benzene, uh, oh boy, I just realized something terrible. I got it backwards. My arrows are all backwards. <laughs> How do I fix it? A lot of erasing. Once again, you don't have to know the direction of the benzene resonance. That's you. you do have to know that when those arrows come out the bottom of the benzene, by the time they hit the hydrogen, they're the same direction as that. So H pi adds to H naught. Delta goes to 7.1 ppm. That we knew already, but we just didn't know why. And uh, I said something about a donut. I bet nobody's seeing a donut. And when they come around the magnetic field, why I didn't go baby blue, I don't know. When it comes around, Look at the direction this arrow is going in the middle of the benzene. I know there's no atoms there in benzene, right? There's nothing in there. There's a hole. But if you're a bigger aromatic ring, and you do have H's in the middle of the ring, this arrow is going against H naught. This is the only time you see negative PPM in NMR. 
big rings with H's in the middle like these two. That's all you have to remember from that whole discussion down there. Okay? And when I said the word donut, you got to just use your imagination. This is supposed to be 3D. So that's just one little loop. If you move it like two degrees here and then three degrees. I tried to draw one in the book. It took me two hours. Did you want to see what looks like maybe a donut? And it's always, if it hits the H on the outside, the PPMs go up. If it hits the H in the middle, where there's, no H here, but these have H's in the middle, it goes negative PPM. So here I have a negative PPM, delta less than zero. And this one, delta big time less than zero, because nitro closer to this one, inductive raises PKA, not PKA, PPM, oh my goodness, PPM. And the inductive effect of the same nitro on this H is much less. So this is gonna be the lowest, lowest number. The nitro, it's still gonna be negative, but the nitro brings it up less negative, that's it. So right now I know the very, very lowest is two, then the one, and I got to choose between three and four. Three is on the outside of the ring. That's going to be pretty big. And this is also pretty big. Delta 12. And delta, let's just say greater than 7.1. Because it's a bigger ring than benzene. Yes, the bigger the ring, the bigger the pi magnetic field, because they're going through a bigger circle. Bigger circle, bigger magnet. Think about it. The magnet caused by this big ring is much bigger than the pi magnet caused by this ring. I know I drew it so big, it looks big, but it's tiny compared to this. Okay, so uh, something that's around seven is less than 12, so three then one, uh, four. Hi, three then four. And there you have it, two, one, three, four. Finding the answer is fun too. AC, nice. There you go. You got one question like that. It's got a different different molecule, same logic. Yeah, that's why I was having different molecule. Different yeah. molecule. Yep. It'll be a big ring, big aromatic ring. Anything in the middle is going to be those negative PPMs. Might be something else. Maybe something, maybe something that uh, would. Uh, I don't know what else. I don't want to give away everything. <laughs> I don't want to give away everything. All right, here we go. Uh, 